Can Kevin Durant finish top five all-time in scoring? Kevin Durant is making his way up the top 10 all-time scoring list as he is now number 10. And as long as he stays healthy, he will pretty easily pass Carmelo, who is nine, Carmelo Anthony, and number eight, who is Shaq, because they are about a little less than a thousand away, and I think Shaq might be a little more than a thousand points away. But either way, he should be able to get, you know, a thousand points this season as long as he stays healthy. So I don't think there's any question that he will be at least top eight. And then after that, it's that can he get to top five? Because number five is Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan has about 32,292 points, I believe that was the number but he has over 32,000 points. And right now, Kevin Durant is at 27,423 points, something like that. The thing about Kevin Durant is there's never been a question of whether he can score or not. We know that every time he's in the game, it's like 30 points easily for him, right? So like to get 2,000 points in a season is easier for him than a lot of other players because not only can he drop 30 on any given night, but he's also doing it on like, 55 60% shooting like super efficient so he doesn't need many shots to get 30 which helps him obviously conserve energy because he's making shots he doesn't have to keep taking shots to get 30 so if that's the case he could take even more shots to get 40 so you know you get what I mean the only question for Kevin Durant for moving up on the all-time list has been his health because we obviously know he missed basically two seasons I believe with the you know Achilles tear that happened in the NBA Finals in 2019. And then he's had a few injuries since then that kept him out for months at a time and stuff like that. So like, he's missed quite a bit of time since 2019. And he's still top 10, even with missing all that time. So just imagine if he never got hurt, how many points he would have right now. He would probably already be top five. With all that being said, he has been lights out this year so far. Like scoring like crazy, efficient, doing the stuff he always does, and he is healthy. So if Kevin Durant stays healthy, again, this season, like, he's gonna pass Shaq and Carmelo, so I don't think that's really anything to question. Like, I think that's pretty much guaranteed that that's going to happen. But do we think he could pass Michael Jordan? We still have a big chunk of the season to go, so he still is going to accumulate more points and obviously, like, move up on the list. So by the end of the season, if he's at 27,000, 423 or whatever it is right now if he stays healthy and he adds like he ends up getting 2,000 points in the season he's obviously had a few points because there's been like 20 games or so or whatever so I'm trying to approximate a number like he'll be at 29,000 points so if he finishes the season at 29,000 points let's just say he gets to that number then after that to get to 32,000 he needs 3,000 more points which realistically would take him probably two seasons. It'll take him like one season to get 2,000 points, like I said, and then it'll take him like half a season to get 1,000 points. <laughs> Imagine, you know, assuming he stays healthy. So with that being said, I mean, it's not unrealistic for Kevin Durant to play two more seasons. I don't think that's unrealistic at all. We know that when he's healthy, he still plays like prime Kevin Durant. Like I understand there are obviously areas of his game where he is not the same he's not you know 27 years old you know pre-injuries and stuff like that but like in terms of scoring it's still effortless for him so i think it's actually pretty realistic for kevin durant to be top five all time on the nba scoring list so like there are two players now because obviously lebron is number one there will probably be two players in the next couple of years again lebron already did it but like Within the next couple of years, two players of this era who are top five in the NBA all-time scoring list. That's pretty awesome. How much higher he can go after that just depends how long he plays. Again, it's not about whether or not he'll score the points. Like, for some players, it's like, can they still get 30? Like, for Kevin Durant, it's not can he still get 30, it's will he be healthy, which obviously is a fair question for a lot of people, you know, as they age and stuff like that. But as long as he's healthy, I think Kevin Durant ends up top five all time. I think that's a really cool achievement. So shout out to Kevin Durant.